Hi everyone, my name is Elder Brian Angelo S. Desma from BECC 3B and this is my presentation on ECE 23 performance test number 1. First, let us talk about metadata. What is metadata? Metadata is data that provides information about other data. It is used to summarize basic information about data with which can make tracking and working with specific data easier. Or, a set of data that describes and gives information about other data. Many distinct types of metadata exist, including descriptive metadata, structural metadata, administrative metadata, reference metadata, statistical and legal metadata. What is importance of metadata when transmitting or representing the di digital information, especially in our everyday lives? First, it can be compared to effective cataloging, which includes identifying resources, defining them by criteria, bringing similar resources together, and distinguishing among those that are dissimilar. Second, an effective means of organizing electronic resources, which is an important use given the gross and web-based resources. Third, as a means of facilitating interoperability and integrating resources, using meta metadata to describe resources enables its understanding by humans as well as machines. Interoperability means the ability of computer systems or software to exchange and make use of information. Fourth, it is also facilities digital identification via standard numbers that uniquely identify the resource the, meta the metadata defines. Metadata is an important way to protect resources and their future accessibility. It is a critical concern given the fragility of digital information and its susceptibility to corruption or alteration. Lastly, an essential for maintaining historical records of long-term datasets, making up for inconsistencies that can occur in the documenting data, personals and methods. How to use metadata? In this presentation, we will use metadata in calculating the IMEI or Inter International Mobile Equipment Identity of a mobile device and also using a metadata to calculate the check digit of a universal product code or UPC of any household items. Number one example, the IMEI of a mobile device. So where can we locate that? First, go to the settings section of your mobile device. As you can see on the photo and the arrow shown. Second, find the about phone section and click it. Show the photos and the arrow. Third, after you get in, you can see and find the two slots of IMEI. You can use the two slots of IMEI for your calculation. And it shows the two slots of IMEI in the section. Let's go to the first example. First slot of IMEI, which is 3550798292408. The second slot is 3550800892924406. So, how to validate the IMEI of a mobile phone? So, let's start with the first slot of IMEI. So, the first row shows the digits on IMEI, and the second row is the weight value, which is 2121. You can use the 2121 sequence on the IMEI or on the credit cards. So we'll, we multiply the IMEI and the, and the weights value. It shows 3 times 2 equals to 6, 
5 times 2 equals to 5 5 times 2 equals to 1 and why it is 1 and this is the calculation 5 times 2 equals to 10 we separate the 2 digit 1 plus 0 equals to 1 and 0 times 1 equals to 0 7 times 2 equals to 5 and the calculation is 7 times 2 equals to 14 1 plus 4 we separate the 2 digit 1 and 4 1 plus 4 equals to 5 and then times 1 equals to 9 0 times 2 equals to 0 8 times 1 equals to 8 9 times 2 equals to 18 we separate the 1 and 8 1 plus 2 equals 1 plus 8 equals to 9 Okay, so on and so forth and it shows it has amazing digit on the last part which is we will find it on our calculation later so we add the product to calculate and find the missing digit on the IMEI to make it valid so we add the products 6 plus 5 plus 1 plus 0 plus 5 plus 9 plus 0 plus 8 plus 9 plus 2 plus 9 plus 2 plus 8 plus 0 plus 7 plus 2 71 so now we want to find a number that we can add to the total sum which is 71 to make the end 0 in this case we find 9 to add with 71 so the result is 80 so the last digit is now is now 0 and the 9 is the check digit and the INEI so here's the solution 71 plus 9 equals to 80 so in order to to make the sum divisible by 10 we add 9 so 71 plus 9 equals to 80 so the 9 is the check check digit and the uh, IMEI of the mobile device so 9 so now we have the IMEI is valid and validated second example is to use the second IMEI slot 2 which is 355 8 008 9292 406 the solution the first row is the IMEI second is the weight values and its products the same procedure on the first example 5 times 2 equals to 10 we separate the two, two digit 1 plus 0 equals 1 the same with this 8 times 2 equals to 16 we separate to 1 and 6 to add 1 plus 6 equals to 7 so we add product to calculate the and find the missing digit on the IMEI and to make it valid so we add the products as you can see the result is or the sum is 60 which is divisible by 10 which is there is no need to calculate or to find the missing each now we can see that the sum is valid and have none missing each for the third example we will use the universal product code of some products or some household products for this example I am using the universal product code or UPZ of a green cross isopropyl alcohol to find it to find if it is valid or have a missing check digit so this is the <coughs> UPZ of a uh, isopropyl alcohol and that shows in the picture to calculate the UPC we use 31321 for the weight values so the upper part the UPC which is 48480047820014 and it has a missing digit on the last part which we will find it later so the same procedure the same procedure on the first and second examples but in this case we use 3131 for the weight values 
So the product is 4 times 3 plus 2, 12. The same procedure in the first and second. Um, 1 plus 2, we separate the, the product of the product of 4 times 3 equals to 12. 1 plus 2 equals to 3. 8 times 1 equals to 8, so on and so forth. So we add the product. 3 plus 8 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 4 plus 3 plus 8 plus 6 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 plus 3 plus 36. So we need to find a sum that can add to 36. So it will be divisible by 10. So in this case, we find 4 to add with 36 to make it divisible by 10. So the solution is 36 plus 4 equals to 40. And 4 is the check digit to complete the UPC or the universal product code. And that's that's the end of my presentation. Thank you for watching.